Eosinophilic esophagitis, or EE, is an increasingly recognized chronic inflammatory condition affecting the esophagus. It can affect patients of all ages. It is characterized by an abnormal number of allergic white blood cells, or eosinophils, in the lining of the esophagus. This can lead to a whole host of symptoms uh, that can be seen as early as infancy, presenting as severe feeding difficulty, refusal to eat, or poor weight gain, also called failure to thrive. These symptoms may also be progressive and can include vomiting with or after eating, chronic stomach pain and or chest discomfort, heartburn, difficulty or pain with swallowing, and food impaction, or a sensation that food gets stuck after swallowing. EE may often go unrecognized or misdiagnosed because many of its symptoms mimic those of gastroesophageal reflux or GERD. Our role as allergists is to identify underlying environmental or food allergy triggers responsible for your symptoms. This can be accomplished through a variety of different allergy tests. Typically, this involves conventional allergy testing, including conventional skin testing to environmental and food allergies. This may also require specialized blood testing or atopy patch testing, which entails putting small amounts of foods to which you may be sensitive on a patch which is then placed on your back for 48 hours, at which time it is removed and examined for any evidence of reaction. There are several therapies available for EE. For acute symptoms, patients may require oral corticosteroids, such as prednisone. Patients may also require esophageal dilatation, in which the esophagus is stretched to help prevent food from getting stuck. In terms of preventive therapies, elimination diets have been proven to be effective. Once a food trigger is identified, it can then be removed from a patient's diet to help facilitate healing. There are also some medical therapies. These therapies include the unconventional use of specific asthma medications, such as budesonide or pulmocort, or fluticasone or flovent, which are administered in a swallowed rather than inhaled fashion. While EE does not appear to limit life expectancy and is not associated with an increased risk of esophageal cancer, it is certainly limiting and debilitating for patients who suffer from this condition. Appropriate diagnosis and treatment is essential to help improve your symptoms.